All right, today we're looking at the P7 P55DE Premium from ASUS. Now, the P7 P55 line is very, very large. There's over 12 motherboards in the series. And if you're a little bit confused as to which board to get, a really easy way to figure it out is to go to their website and check the compare feature to show you what all the different features are. So we're looking at the premium version. Extremely premium it is. Uh, a lot of incredible stuff. Now, I'm just going to go for the tour, and you're going to see all the crazy stuff that's on here. But uh, I'll tell you a few you know, teasers. SATA, 6 gigabit per second. Uh, USB 3.0 and a overclocking remote control. Okay, uh, so first of all, let's just jump right into it. Uh, I want to show you the CPU socket. Check this out. Now, this is of course the socket 1156, so it supports your Core i3s, your Core i5s, and your Core i7s. Uh, basically, you can use any level of CPU that you need, but here's the crazy part look at all this around here. Uh, look at all those different VRMs. This is a uh, basically, it's a 32 plus 3 phase power. So it's 32 phases for vCore, and then these three over here for the memory. So very clean, efficient power, uh, incredible hardware. Uh, the MOSFETs under here are lower RDSON. Uh, these are solid state conductive polymer capacitors uh, that are made in Japan. Uh, ferrite core chokes throughout the board. Very, very nice setup as far as the CPU goes. Uh, also, it's basically a self overclocking board. If you're going to use this for professional reasons uh, or not for overclocking your gaming, but you do want to get the added performance. You have CPU level up, uh, you have Turbo V, you have ASUS Auto Tuning, uh, ASUS Turbo Key. These are all basically programs that are going to let you overclock. Some of them automatically, some of them fully manual for even more performance, but they're basically going to give you an, uh, an increase in performance of your CPU uh, if you use the uh, tethered software, the software that comes with it, the included software. Uh, up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory as well, 1600 megahertz native, uh, or up to 2200 megahertz with overclocking. Uh, so that's also really cool. Now, take a look down here. I want to show you uh, the, the interfaces for the graphics. Now, here's how it works. You have uh, two PCI Express X16 2.0 slots. Uh, so here's one, here's the other one. If you do one, it's X16. Uh, if you do two, it bifurcates down to X8. X8, which means you can do Crossfire and or SLI, no problem on this card. Uh, it is 2.0, so you're not going to lose any bandwidth by uh, putting both of them and running them in X8. You're still getting basically the full amount of performance, even though the bandwidth has dropped a little bit. Um, also, you have two standard PCI slots, and then you have uh, three uh, PC, I'm sorry, two PCI Express X1 slots, uh, which are the 2.0s uh, right here, and those are good for sound cards or TV tuners or whatnot. Uh, same thing with these. You can add just a, a bunch of good stuff with these expansion cards, but uh, the graphics is the most important part, and you're probably going to use one, maybe two graphics cards on here. Uh, so very, very nice. Also uh, important to know, if you look over here, uh, these are your SATA ports. Now, there's four here, there's two down here, and then there's these two. So the blue ones uh, go to the P55 chipset, which is underneath this cover, uh, and those are the uh, SATA 3 gigabit per second, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and RAID 10. Uh, this right here is the RAID 6 gigabit per second, so this is the faster uh, version. Uh, these are twice as fast as SATA 3 gigabit per second. There's two of those, and they can do RAID 0 uh, plus RAID 1. Very, very nice. Uh, take you to the back panel now, because there's a lot of good stuff going on back here. Uh, PS2s, these are the USB 3.0s, so these are 10 times faster than USB 2.0. Instead of being 480 megabit per second, they're 4.8 gigabit per second. Uh, you have SPDIF both in the analog coax and the digital SPDIF uh, optical. Uh, you have uh, a bunch of USB 2.0s. There's six here plus six more on, on board uh, with headers. You have a firewire here plus an additional firewire header uh, inside, and then you have dual gigabit ethernet. Uh, as well as a 7.1 channel HD audio, so very, very, very nice stuff. Uh, now, looking at all the other features on the board, there is so much extra stuff. You know, you have LEDs, and you have the Turbo V remote, you have the dual BIOS chips, you have the, the reset buttons over here, you have reset and power. There is a lot of stuff going on on this board, but out of all those things, I definitely want to show you uh, the Turbo V remote control, because it's very, very cool. Uh, basically, you can just set up profiles and overclock on the fly while the computer is running. You could even be playing a game uh, or loading a benchmark and basically just turn the system on. You can activate EPU uh, or you can turn it off and put it in manual mode and then basically just increase bus speed uh, automatically from outside the computer. So that's all very, very, very uh, nice as far as enthusiast features for overclockers go. And that's basically it. Uh, it does have all the other ASUS premium features you're used to seeing, the Fan Expert, the Q Connects, uh, the Express Gate, the Noise Filter. Those are all high-end ASUS features that you'll only find on ASUS brand motherboards. Uh, but this being the premium version, it has basically all of them, as well as the regular features that you're going to find on the P7, P55 line. So really nice uh, setup, good for everybody. If you have any questions on it, email me, and I will see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS P7 P55 DE Premium Motherboard, type in A455-2923 into any major search engine.
For Computer TV, I'm Albert.